Hey guys, how are y'all today? Let's see, let's see. Let me write in the comments. Hey, hey, thank you for joining me live. I am here doing a Q&A, so if you have any questions or any concerns or worries or anything, feel free to drop them below. Um, for those who do not know who I am, I am Sunny Brooks. Hey, love, co-owner of Soulful Vibes Co. with my wife. And... I'm here answering questions today. So if you have any questions, hey, hey, Jada. Hey, now. I think that's how you say your name. Hey, hey. But yeah, hopefully y'all have questions um, in our bio. Okay, I had to put a comment so I could pin it. So when people come in, they know what the hell we talking about. But I am here answering questions. Um, if you have any questions in regards to metaphysics, um, spirituality, holistic living, anything like that, product suggestions, anything under the sun, I am here to answer your questions. So start dropping them below and you'll get the answer. Best way to charge your crystals. Oh, I covered this yesterday. Oh, and if you didn't know, I'll be coming live every day for the whole month of June. So make sure you join me. Make sure you come with your questions and all of that good stuff but the best way to charge your crystals i said this yesterday however um it's totally up to you so some ways to charge your crystal is the sunlight the moonlight you can dig it and put it in soil um anything that you feel connected to doing so you may feel more connected with charging your crystals with the moonlight i may feel more connected with the sun so there's no best way the best way is the way that works for you um but moonlight sunlight anything that puts the puts the crystals in a natural element will be the best way to charge them and whichever way you agree or feel pulled to most is the best way for you to charge your crystals i was reading up on yoni steams what are your thoughts i love yoni steams if you didn't know we sell them i am the person that create the yoni steams that we sell on the site i created the yoni steams um well the first holy shit my black beans are boiling over that was tj that just ran by um i'm trying to like make beans and they're boiling over um i created it i created the blend that we sell now maybe in 2013 2014 the reason i created it because i suffer from severe cramps and severe um PMS, right? Like I literally was damn near buried and wow, my menstrual was on. They had given me a uh, damn babe, what is it? Percocet for my pain during menstrual cramps and I was like, "You know what? I'm not about to be fucking taking these pills all the time and my back would hurt, my I was clotting, I was bleeding heavy. There was a lot going on. So I was like, "You know what? Let me google some shit." I googled the Yoni Steam um years ago, so I made me a blend and then it helped. I was like, "This is some damn sorcery um and i've been steaming ever since then when we first started so vibes i was like one thing i do want to have is the yoni, our yoni steams um because they saved my life i don't like i don't feel when my menstrual is coming on same thing for my wife like we just it just come right when it comes it's not heavy we don't clot a lot our backs don't hurt like a lot of stuff don't happen of course some things you just can't um Maybe turn it down on medium, babe. Some things you may just can't get rid of, but as far as, you know, cramps and all of those things, we don't suffer from. Um, and a lot of our customers have used it to um, treat their PCOS and endometriosis. Endometriosis? Yeah, endometriosis, PCOS, and it's something else. Yeah, yeast infections, BV, and then that was something also. It helped with BV and all that. So let's, let me tell you. The Yoni Steams is a real deal. And then I, for those who don't know, I'm a certified herbalist. So I have um, my certification in herbology, which gave me a different, different um, knowledge about herbs. So I was just, before when I made them for myself, I just knew about it um, and made the herbs based off what I read. But then once I got my herbology certification, I really knew which herbs to put in it. And it's made of 15 organic herbs and it is beautiful. So if you haven't tried the Yoni Steam, it is wonderful. If you want to know how to use it, when to use it or anything like that, you can click the link in the bio and watch my YouTube video. I have a whole YouTube video on Yoni Steaming. 
Um, yeah. So yeah. Any other questions? You appreciate my fantastic post. Thank you. Thank you, love. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? And if you haven't tried Yoni Eggs either, those are really great. Yoni Eggs is good for um, tightening your pelvic muscles and your pelvic floor. Um, but great. Where did you get your herbology certification? Jada, um, inbox me. My personal, go to my personal Instagram at I am Sunny Brooks. I put it at the bottom just in case for those who ask. I know people are going to say, hey, how can I follow you? I want to follow more of you. At I am Sunny Brooks, go to that page and um, DM me and I'll send you the link and stuff. But any other questions? Do y'all need product suggestions? I know I, we always get a lot of emails and uh, DMs about, hey, I want to start this, but I don't know where to start or what would you suggest for this? If you have any suggestions, I mean, any questions that deal with suggestions, this is the time to ask them. Don't wait. Don't wait, people. Don't wait. And those who never have ever seen me before, it's like, I'm Sunny. I'm Sunny Brooks. And I'm like home chilling with my wife and my damn dog on this beautiful, rainy ass Friday in my house and chilling in my damn unicorn lounge around pajamas acne medications yeah no um i'm i am very um grateful that i have never suffered from acne but i don't have any acne medications however my wife has suffered from acne and i have um helped her with her skin um cut out dairy Cut out dairy. Dairy is a big... Babe, what else would you say? Cut out dairy. Oh, lots of water. She said lots of water. But if you cut... You're still consuming dairy. Dairy is about 75% of the reason for acne. So cut out dairy, water, eat fruits and vegetables. You know the cliche shit that Google and Pinterest tell you. But no, legit shit. Cut out dairy and you will see a definitely, um, definitely a big difference in your skin. How long would you say it took your business to flourish? Woo! Um, how long did you say? Uh, so we started January. We launched. Let me say that because we started before 2017 because we were doing a lot of back work. Um, thank y'all for the hearts. But we launched January 11, 2017. We worked all of 2017. We were still full time teachers. Uh, we quit our jobs April 25th, 2018. So it just hit a year. So how long did it take for it to flourish? I would say over a year, year and a half. Um, and I am always reaching for more, but we have flourished, but I still think that is more for us to continue to flourish. Like there is next levels, right? But I would say at least at the bare minimum, year and year and a half. Because even when we quit our jobs, we weren't at our full um, potential. We actually got to our, now we're still not at our full potential. We're not operating there, but we were able to scale the business at a different rate once we quit our jobs because we had more time to invest and um, pour into the business. So yes. I would say at least a year and a half. At least a year and a half. Do I need to cleanse my house before using sage? Do I need to clean my house before using sage? I highly recommend that. Arcanger. 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 I think um, that's how you say your name. But I definitely recommend that. Normally before I sage, I Palo Santo, anything like that, I clean the house, make sure the house is tidy. Because it's kind of like, y'all ever, <laughs> y'all ever seen those, what was it, Glad commercials? Yeah, I think it was Glad where they will have the people blindfold and they'll walk them into a room and they say hey what do you think what is where do you think you at and they're like i think i'm in this clean hotel room i think i'm on a beach i think whatever and then they un they take the blindfold off and they see that they're in a mess kind of that thing you don't want to be in a mess trying to cleanse your house because also you got to realize the physical is only a representation of your mind it's only a representation of your emotions it's only a representation of your spirit so if your house is a mess and your house is not in order your emotions and your mind and spirit nine times out of ten is not in order so i would want to get everything in a physical realm in order so that everything on a spiritual realm can fall in order once i start saging no questions just happy friday thank you happy happy friday preach come on sis goodness <laughs> 
Y'all don't hype me up now. Don't hype me up. Don't hype me. Jasmine. Yeah, you remember that song, babe? Jasmine, my favorite girl, my favorite girl in the whole wide world. Mm-mm. No? Okay. I think that was NSYNC or Backstreet Boys back in the day. Huh? Oh, I think so. It's like, Jasmine, my favorite girl, my favorite girl in the whole wide If you don't know that song, Jasmine, you should, like, definitely go Google it. I'm pretty sure. I know I'm not tripping. I think it's NSYNC or some shit or Backstreet Boys. Do y'all have any questions? I knew the answer was hoping different. Hell no, nah, don't hope different. Get your life in order. Your house cannot be in a mess, okay? Get your get your house in order. You how you gonna try to clear negative negative energy or low vibrations and low frequencies if your house is in low vibrations and low frequencies? Ain't nothing high vibe about a messy ass house, okay? Ain't nothing high vibe about a messy ass house or Filthy ass house, a dirty ass house, shit out of place, fucking stains everywhere. Ain't nothing high vibrational about that. So guess what? You gonna cleanse and smudge and guess what? You still gonna feel the same. Cause your house, ugh, physical representation, physical representation. For sure, lol, I'll look it up. Watch, now it's gonna be a theme song. If you got a ringtone on your phone, watch, you gonna change it. Jasmine, my favorite girl. Okay. You're so naturally beautiful. Oh, thank you, Case. Case Bay. K Bay. Case Bay. I think it's Case Bay. Don't be laughing at me, R. R. Sandra. Go clean your shit. Go clean your shit up and then sage. Do not save before you clean your shit up. So we're going to check in tomorrow. Come back on live tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm coming on, so don't ask me. I don't have a guaranteed time. I forgot today I had to come on because I would have came on earlier when I was fucking stuck in our clubhouse because it was pouring down right now. However, come on tomorrow and check in. I want you to clean your shit, then sage. Or do an experiment. Sage before you clean your stuff and feel how it feels for 24 hours. And then clean up and then sage. And then see how it feels for 24 hours. You're going to see a big difference. I literally say that all the time. Yes, got it. How did, cur how did I'm guessing, how did you curb the fear of leaving your 9 to 5 to pursue your passion? Girl, let me tell you. And I don't even know if you're a girl. I'm assuming. I'm so sorry. Person, let me tell you. Um, the fear. Like, I'm a just do it person. Like, I just got to do it. If I think too much about it and all this shit, like, I'm going to talk myself out of it or safety net. I just do it. Like, I act on it. But I made sure. Let me, no, let me tell you. I'm not the person to preach leave your 9 to 5 if that is something that you don't desire or also you're not prepared right? I made sure I had a uh, savings, right? I made sure my wife was okay with everything because we quit at the same time. I made sure that we would be able to take care of bills, financial responsibilities. Um, and when I say I, I mean we, I just speak in, what is it? First person? Was it first person? I was a teacher. I should know this shit. I, I is first person. We is first person too. Right, babe? She doesn't like to fucking respond to me. But anyways, I mean, we we like made sure that we had savings. We made sure that we were able to budget. We made sure that we stuck to our budget. Um, we made sure that we were still going to be able to have finances to fund the business, but also fund our living type thing. We grind. We made sure that we were consistent. All of those things. So everything was in place. And it was like, if not now, when? If not now, when? Why keep waiting? Why keep waiting? We didn't quit the job and the business was bringing in zero dollars, right? We was very mindful and very um, strategic about that. So, yes, I'm for quitting your job, your nine to five. However, not if it's not logical. Be logical. God, the universe can bless you with more when you don't take care of what you have now. I know that's right, Jasmine. You got to take care. I, let me tell you. you, might, do you are you on my personal page? Are you in my group? If y'all not in my group, go to Facebook and type in The Power of Healing. It's a group full of bomb-ass women. And we manifesting and healing and shit. And being being our best selves and living our best lives. Um, but yes, I say that all the time. You It's gratitude. And gratitude doesn't necessarily have to be something verbal and you saying thank you all the time. Gratitude is literally you taking care of what you have. You um, appreciating what you have. But you can't get more if you're not getting this. I use the analogy all the time. That's like a little kid. I'm going to use, I got a niece. I have a niece and a nephew. 
And if I gave my nephew a blue lollipop and he's like, huh, I don't want this. I wish it was a red lollipop. And he threw it and he didn't take care of it or he just like didn't eat it. He just threw it. You think I'm going to give his ass a, a red lollipop? Hell no. Why? Because you're not appreciative to what you have. You ain't even eating that. You ain't even try that one. Same type of thing. Turn on post notifications. You'll never miss a live. Ooh, yay. Turn on post notifications. Turn on our post notification. What's the song? Jasmine, my favorite girl. My favorite girl in the whole wide world. That song. Any other questions? I know y'all have questions. What questions do y'all have? I'm like pulling my hair back. Questions. I know y'all have questions. Questions, product suggestions. Do y'all need product suggestions? Do you need to know which products you should use or which products you should buy? For what specific thing or no? Or y'all just chilling? Y'all can ask me any questions. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, for those who join in live, I see people are still joining. This is a QA, and a so an answer. X all of the questions that you have so I can answer them. How do you tune... Jasmine, I, before I even get to your question, be specific. I don't know what you mean by what do you believe in. Be, what do I believe in what? Like in what? Fruit? Vegetables? I don't know. Be specific. How do you tune into the energy of, your, of the stones? Um, quiet your mind. How do you quiet your mind? Because um, I know that's going to be a question. But no, I wouldn't necessarily say quiet your mind, but like really... Hone into it, like just hold it or think about it, focus on it. I would use that focus. It's kind of like how do you um, how do you tune into the energy of let's see your what what is something that you tune into your energy of? How do you tune into the energy of cooking? Right, you can't just be like, I'm gonna just throw some shit together. You have to focus on it, and then you feel the energy of cooking. Like oh okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, and then you put another little special seasoning to the ancestors tell you, okay, that's enough, right? Because you're focused on that, you're tuning in. So you tune in by focusing. You focus on a crystal, you focus on a stone, hold it, um, pray to it, meditate. I'm not pray to it, pray with it, meditate with it, you know, those type of things. What do you believe in as far as religion? I'm not a religious person. What's your nationality? Black mixed with black. <laughs> oh, now you got to chuckle over there. Your nationality. Black mixed with African American. But yeah. Girl, it's just. But um, as far as my religion, like I don't have a religion. I don't, I'm not a religious person. Um, I, I'm not against religion at all. I'm not I'm definitely not against, against it. Whatever works for people works for people. I don't care. You want to believe in Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad, goddamn the Orishas or whoever. Whatever works for you works for you. But me personally, I'm not a religious person. Um, but I believe in love. That's what I believe in. That's my religion. You know what? I am religious. I believe in love. <laughs> love is my religion. Um, yeah, I believe in love. If I do all things out of love, then I would prosper. I would be happy. Do everything out of love and you won't have to worry about anything else. Right? How do you know when to charge your crystals? To be honest, I feel like crystals are already charged. The whole charge crystal thing is kind of a little overrated um, and doing the most. However, not saying that you can't charge your crystals. Now, let me tell you, I don't go run and be like Sunny said, don't charge your crystals. Ain't no need for it. That's not what the fuck I said. Let me tell you. Crystals are already charged. They're already at a certain vibration and frequency. So they're fine. Leave them the fuck alone. Now, how do you know when to cleanse them? Cleansing and charging is two different things. It's like, are you cleansing your house or are you charging it? Are you cleansing your clothes or are you charging your clothes? Yeah, right? It's two different things. So cleansing them, how do you know when to cleanse them? Um, they become heavier. You just know. It's like an intuitive thing. Dig inside. But if you use them or work with them or wear them or carry them every day, you need to cleanse them. 
Um, for me, I haven't cleansed my crystals in a minute because one, my environment, my home is very sacred and it's very high vibe and high positivity. It's all good over here, like shit good over here. Um, so I don't have to cleanse my crystals that often because they're not in a, an environment that is soaking up or um, taking in any negative energy or neg negative or low vibrations, low frequencies, right? Let's say that. Um, but when I used to work with kids and I used to wear my crystals, I used to stage my damn crystals and bracelets like every day or every other day, right? Because uh, it, it's enduring more. But charging them, you can charge them when you get them. You can charge them every moon cycle, certain moon cycles. It's up to you. Charging them, it just gives them an extra little oomph, a little extra juju type shit. What? Not Americans. Not an American. Mm. What was the name of your Facebook group again? The Power of Healing. The Power. You know, like power or power, like... 50 cent show the power of healing like healing healing um or you could just go to my personal page i am sunny brooks and click the links in my bio everything's over there go ahead girl you're making me so happy i joined this live preach sis uh -huh. you're welcome i don't know what y'all talk about go ahead girl or preach because i've been talking about a whole bunch of shit but thank y'all why do you believe in crystals why do I believe in crystals? Because they saved my fucking life. If you're new here, you may have never heard my story. A little glimpse of my story, I'm not about to go into it. If you want to go into it, you can go watch my podcast. I talk about it on my podcast. My podcast is available on Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. It's called Sunny Days. I talk about the shit on there. But it's Sunny Days Podcast. But why do I believe in crystals? It saved my life. I suffered from depression and anxiety and low self-esteem, lack of confidence, and all of that good shit. Right? I suffer from that and the things that I changed was of course my environments I changed my environments I changed my mind but also most importantly the one physical thing that I changed and the tangible thing that I held on to were crystals amethyst and rose quartz and jet the crystal I found in the Bahamas you're welcome when will the store restock restock on what we restock different products at different times. Um, I can't pin it because it's going to... Um, I can't pin my podcast because it's going to erase the pin that's already there. But if you see, like, at I am Sunny Brooks, just go to my personal page and click the link in my bio. And it'll have, like, the links to each uh, platform. But, when, yeah, what, what are you... Hey, hey, goddess love. What... Are, what product are you referring to? Because we restock at different times. And if it's a specific product, you can literally just click on the product. When you click on the product, because I know it says out of stock, but you click on the product. There's this box that's going to pop up that says, it's like your email. It says enter email address and then it's a button that says notify me when in stock. What Or no, when available. What happens is you put your email there. Say soon as if I've changed the stock from zero to one, that shit's going to send out a mass email to who, whoever's put that email to notify them when available within three seconds of me putting something in stock. That is the best way to get first dibs on certain things, especially if they're handmade products um, because they sell out fast. Crystals for EMF waves. You know, Shungite. Let me say that. I'm going to just say Shungite. I'm not even about to go to Shungite. Greetings again. Thank you. You're welcome. Just got my first order. Love my bracelets. And Sage, yay! What bracelets did you get? TJ's not going to show her face, but she's over there on the couch. But um, she's the one who hand makes the bracelets. If you got the bead bracelets. If you got handmade beaded bracelets, she made them. I was going to say from scratch, but by hand. Um, and people love those bracelets. But I'm so glad that you got it. What were the purposes and benefits of the amethyst rose and jet? So jet I found in um, in Bahamas. I didn't know it was a jet. I just knew that it was out of place because I was on a beach and it was just this black stone. A year later when I took it to a guy, he identified it as jet, which helps with removing um, toxic people, toxic environments, and getting you out of situations that are toxic for you, which definitely was because um, the time that that 
that I found that crystal, I was in an abusive relationship. So I know once I identified that crystal, it all made sense. Amethyst was good for a depression and anxiety and mental clarity. It helped calm me and keep me calm and um, keep me focused on the now and not too worried. And rose quartz helped me with self-love, self-confidence, compassion, and affection. I'm always a compassionate person to other people, um, but I suffered from having that compassion for myself. So rose quartz helped me with that and it helped me um, just love and truly accept who I was and not... Um, keep running from it and keep trying to avoid it or hating myself so much so yeah i want the black tourmaline necklace they went fast during the past few sales whoo black tourmaline i'm gonna be honest those black tourmaline pendants are the ones they always go fast right soon as i restock them so your best bet is to click on it and put your email there i'll probably restock those in a few weeks in a few weeks but you know you can always get a black tourmaline wrapped. We have custom wire wraps. If you don't know, now you know. Custom wire wraps. If you go to jewelry and then click on, I think it's called, is it custom wire wraps, babe? Mm -hmm. Custom wire wraps. You can pick the color wire you want. You can choose out of black, silver, rose gold, gold. And um, yeah, those four colors. And then it's a drop down for crystals and you can select black tourmaline. And what TJ does, will say, pick a black tourmaline intuitively, right? Pick a nice piece. They're all nice pieces, but a nice piece for her to wrap. And whatever color wire you choose, she will wrap it for you. And you can do that with any crystal. So if you want a pendant or something, you can always get it um, custom wrapped. Like if you're like, oh, I don't want a pendant or I want it wrapped or I want a rose quartz wrapped. I wish they had rose quartz pendants. Just get a custom wire wrap and TJ will pick a rose quartz and wrap it in rose gold or whatever color and you can wear it just like a pendant. And if you want like a certain size, there's no way to really uh, determine a certain size, but say you can put in a notes, hey, I want a smaller piece of uh, black tourmaline or I want a bigger piece of black tourmaline. Like you can put, I want a small piece, a medium piece, a large piece uh, because TJ will just intuitively pick it. But if you want a smaller piece and honey, let me tell you, Rocky, Rookie, Rocky, I'm going to say Rocky. Them black tourmaline things, I just thought about it. Them black tourmaline pendants was in stock for at least a month. You must have slept on them. Did you sleep on them? Just put, email me when available so you get first dibs on them. And not only that, you can get a, um, a black tourmaline wire wrap. I'm getting the sage next time. Yay! You get sage. And if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all um subscribe to our emails i mean our email list by clicking the link in our bio or and or subscribe to our tech subscription and for the whole month of june guess what the whole month of june you get a free cleansing stick or a free crystal your choice by just selecting so um by elect not electing by texting so to <laughs> i don't know the number i'm gonna tell you how to number Babe, grab a phone. You made the graphic, dude. I made the graphic. That's all I did. It was make the graphic. But I think it's 7448. I think. Chase. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on. You want to come up here with mommy? No? Whatever. Um, but yeah, you could get a, a free, you could choose like Rosemary, Yerba Santa. The value, the code that you're given when you text your number, um, not text your number, when you text the subscription. Is the value for four dollars so you can use that for a cleansing stick or you can use that for a crystal of your choice a small crystal protection and success and also the chakra bracelets oh yay and social and then you scrap you scroll you swipe i'm glad you got it i suffer from the same thing so thank you for sharing you're welcome so what I would suggest, if you wanted to, like we have a crystal set that's called um, Stress, Depression, and Anxiety. Seven, seven, nine, so you could text. Seven, seven, so S O U L capitalize everything. So S O U L to seven seven nine four eight. Text so S O U L to seven seven nine four eight seven seven nine four eight. Text so and you will receive a code to receive a free cleansing stick or a free crystal. And all you got to do is add it to your cart with one other item and you get it for free. Um, but yes, we have a crystal set that's called Stress, Dis Depression, and Anxiety, and that's a really popular crystal set. But it works really good to relieve stress um, and relieve anxiety and depression. So that would be something I would recommend for you to love. G to G, 
G2G, love your vibe. Join in your Facebook group soon. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jazz. I'm like renaming these people. She probably hates that nickname. Whatever. I'm definitely on it. Thanks. Not whatever. No. Yes. Ba Shush. I didn't mean it like that. Not, not whatever as if, if you hate that nickname. I'm just saying whatever like to myself. If you hate that nickname, I'm sorry. Love the crystal quiz. Help me narrow down what I needed. Oh, yay. Yay. If you didn't know, we do have a crystal quiz. It tells you what crystals you need. You take a uh, quiz and they tell you what crystal you need. And a smudging quiz. If you're not sure if you should cleanse or smudge your place, take the quiz. It's pronounced Rocky. I just got introduced to you all last month. Oh, okay, Rocky. Okay. Yeah, so you probably, it probably was out of stock when you um, found out about us. I'm sorry. But I want to um, try to uh, restock those soon, within the next two weeks, I hope. What are chakra bracelets? They are bracelets. I'm showing y'all like I got them on. But they are bracelets that um, help you align and balance each chakra. So it has, you can either choose the, the align bracelet or the lava bracelet and the lava rock is the black stone where you can put oils and essential oils and things on it but then the line has opalite and it's just pretty but then it has seven crystals a red orange yellow green um blue purple and clear that represents each chakra but it basically you wear it so your chakras can continue to be aligned and balanced order is selenite and green site calcite to keep away negative energy and manifest prosperity also order florida water what's the best way to use florida water so as told by meek um you can use it in so many ways i actually have a youtube video click the link in our bio and um you can watch the youtube video i go over i think 10 to 15 different uses but you can uh put it in a spray bottle spray it around your home you can cleanse your crystals with it you can put it in some mop water to mop your floor because it cleanses the whole environment you can put it in some um when you're washing your clothes you can put a dash in it um yeah there's different ways but i go more in detail on a youtube video click the link in the bio and you can watch it there any other questions i am here so any other questions any other questions you're welcome love questions comments concerns suggestions I'm here. That's me tapping. Chase, you want to come say hi to the people? Come here. Come on, buddy. No? Hi, goddess. I came in late. No worries. We're just having a Q&A, Lady Libra. We're having a Q&A, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you need suggestions for anything, there you go. Are you going to continue to make your sprays? I'm on the fence about them. I'm on the fence about them. Um... And if we continue to make the sprays, it won't be all of them. Yeah, because they take a lot of time. We literally take each bottle, we put a label on each bottle, making to put them labels on those bottles or something serious. We put a label on it, then we put crystals in each. Then um, the liquids that goes inside the bottle, it has to go out in the new moon or full moon, depending on which uh, spray it is. Then um, I have to make that liquid, I have to charge it with the moonlight, then I have to mix it, then I have to charge it, put energy into it, um, and then we have to, of course, prepare each bottle, then we have to hand pour each bottle, then put the top on, screw the top on, wipe the bottle off. It's a whole process. Like, it's a process. It is a process. But we are, if we do not restock our sprays, we are going to get some sort of sprays. It's a whole process. It is a long process. And I think the only one we have left in stock is deep relaxation. Huh? Four. Babes at four. So, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other questions? You're a Libra. My my rising is in Libra. I love deep relaxation. Oh, and that's probably, that's going to be one of them that get discontinued, to be honest. Deep relaxation, if they all are, if they, 
if some of them are deep discontinued deep relaxation and um energize me up will be two of them that's discontinued but deep relaxation is good it's good it's good it smells good i love it um but we only have four left so yeah and all positivity oh yeah i love that all positivity spray I use it every day before I start work. Yeah. That all positivity, no negativity spray is something serious. Okay? Oh, crrr. Babe, did I do it? No. Oh, crrr. I did it that time. Oh, crrr. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I created that when we were teachers and the kids were like, we couldn't sage them. So, we did the spray. But, yeah, the spray, the all positivity, no negativity spray is the most popular one. Um, yes, it is. My coworkers come to me to use it. Oh, yay. I, I, I'm pretty sure if we restock, if we keep any of them, we, it will probably be, if we make any more and don't dis discontinue all of them, all positivity, no negativity would definitely be one of them that we keep. And probably money, baby, huh? Money. Money, baby, money, baby, money, baby. Yeah, it'll be those two. And maybe all things love, maybe not. But I know for a fact, Energize Me Up and Deep Relaxation will be the two that definitely get discontinued. So is it not a good idea to sage the kids? Let me tell you. Hmm. I can sage my kids. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if you are a teacher. No, you definitely can sage kids if they are your kids. But if you are a teacher, you can't go in a classroom with sage. You can't do that. That is a violation. Is a violation. And then there's kids with allergies and all type of shit. Yeah, you can't sage them kids. I know I couldn't sage mine because if that was the case, whoo, they would have been eating sage for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But any last minute questions? But yeah, you could definitely sage your kids or your nieces, your nephews, your god kids, or kids any you know. kids you know and kids that belong to you or your family or a friend. Not in your work environment. Any other questions? Any other questions? Questions, comments, concerns, or product suggestions? No. How do I open my root chakra? Ooh, journey, dope soul. Click the link in the bio. Go to YouTube. I have, huh? Huh? You say explain it? No, I'm I'm going to. Gosh, two. I have two videos. I have one how to balance and align my chakras, and then one that's specifically for root chakra. Those two would be extremely helpful. And then we also have a chakras master class that's on our website if you click the link in the bio. But how do you open it? Saying affirmations. What affirmations? Affirmations that are good for your root chakra. I am safe. I am secure. I am stable. I am financially stable. Um, affirmations. You can um, burn red candles or a root chakra candle. You can work with root chakra crystals. So we have a root chakra crystal set or red crystals or black crystals. Any dark crystals will help with the root chakra. Dressing in red, wearing dark colors, anything like that. Opening your root chakra. But you may not know, your, your, your uh, chakra may not be closed. It may be overactive. So that's why I say you got to watch the video because I give symptoms on um, if it's too open or if it's closed or anything like that. Any other questions? And those who don't know, I will be going live every day for the month of June. So make sure that you join live. I don't know what time I will be here, but I will be here every day. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Babe, you remember the number? And to receive a free crystal and or free cleansing sticks for the value up to $4, please text SOUL, S-O-U-L, capitalize everything, 2779 Four eight, seven seven nine four eight. Are you sure? Yeah, seven seven nine four eight. Or just click the link in our bio, and it'll give you the info there, along with subscribing to our email. If this is all, I want to make sure that y'all stay lit with peace and positivity. 
throughout the rest of your day, your weekend, and your life. And if nobody told y'all today, guess what? I fucking love you. Bye.